Hi there, my name is Ella Panel. <laughs> yeah, the shoes. <laughs> oh, I wore them every day for six months. Oh yeah, they, these were like grafted to my feet. But now I can walk in anything, so it's fine. You've got practice. No, they weren't, they weren't um, really heavy. They were made of polystyrene. Um, but I went to about five or six different shoe fittings alone, literally just to fit the shoes. Because they were like Tim's favourite part of the whole outfit, so he had to make sure they were sporting. He's a very visual person. But then when we did all the underwater stuff, then those shoes were weighted. So I did actually get to experience the actual heaviness of the shoes. And we went in this big tank in Pima Studios, which was all green screened around. Um, and I had my, my wig and my dress and the weighted shoes and um, breathing mask and everything, you go down. It's all very safe and very measured, but it takes about a day to get one scene done. Oh, not even a day, like it took us a whole week to get the underwater scene. And we had to take our contact lenses out under the water, so it was quite literally the blind leading the blinds. And they'd be like, Ella, look at Tim. And I'm like, where is he? <laughs> I just couldn't see a thing. It was my last day of exam, so me and Asa both did our A-levels all the way through this six month shoot. And on our last day of exams, we went in the morning, did my last exam, which was English, two and a half hour paper, my hand fell off. So, so sore. And we sat in the car on the way back to the set and we got there and everyone was celebrating. They were like, congratulations, you never have to do another exam in your whole life. And it was such a good day. And then Tim bought water guns on the set and everyone was like, Spraying each other with water guns and hair and makeup go crazy and it was really fun. I always, always remember that. Good thing. Oh, I have many. I can wiggle my ears, I can raise an eyebrow, I can make, I can do a good duck impression. <laughs> it's like my favourite thing. I do, it, I do it on the tube sometimes and people really freak out. They're like, stop. But yeah, my granddad told me how to do a duck impression when I was younger and and then I taught my younger brother, who is now 13. I taught him when he was like around the same age, like seven. And we're passing it on through the traditions. Um, <laughs> this is seared into my soul. When I was younger, I used to have these very attractive pink glasses. I wear glasses. And they weren't Barbie glasses, they weren't branded to Barbie, but they looked like pink Barbie glasses. One of the teachers just made like a really casual comment about my glasses, but I was quite insecure of these glasses and I basically was so embarrassed and red-faced I didn't really know how to respond, so I just burst into tears and I just cried and my friends will never ever let me live it down. Ever. <laughs> Stop plucking your eyebrows. <laughs> I think everybody would agree with that. There's always a point where you just run out of eyebrow hair. Everyone says it, but it's true. My mom is absolutely my hero. I have many, many heroes, um, but my absolute top would be my mom and my cat. My cat's been through some stuff. Yes. <laughs> right. Promise to hold on tight. Meet the others.